Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought of uh, making a video about lecture method, a very detailed video in which uh, I would cover all the things like what is method, what is a lecture method, the structure, history, objectives, its merits, demerits, how to plan a lecture, the, then suggestions that how, what the things should be added into a lecture method to improve it more and then we will conclude the video. I think it's a very good topic if you are a student of uh, educational assessment or foundation of education subject. So let's start with the method. Uh, starting with the definition of the method, basically it is a systematic procedure adopted to attain some specific objective. Like method koi bhi aise cheez ka naam hota hai ki humne ek khas goal, ek khas objective hasil karne ke liye jo bhi tarike kar apnana hai that is method. And if we talk about the teaching method, then this is the style of presentation of content in the classroom. Like, what method we use for students to give their knowledge ke liye, to impart knowledge on students. Now, we divide the three parts in Telling method, showing method, and doing method. Telling method, the three things are the first thing lecture, then questioning, and then discussion. That's all. Showing method में हम सिर्फ demonstration देते हैं कि this is the thing हम बता देते हैं show कर देते हैं students को that ये ये चीजें हम पढ़ रहे हैं next is doing method doing method is a kind of uh, project role playing जिसमें ज़्यादातर part students का होता है students are more active in doing method in the project and in the role playing <coughs> next we have what is a lecture method now this slide is showing the definition of a lecture method and this is the traditional way of teaching and it is also the oldest one, oldest way of teaching. So, lecture is one of the teaching strategy which is the oldest one and is used by the teacher to teach. This is simple lecture. It's quite obvious that giving a lecture is lecture method. If a teacher is saying and a student is listening, teacher is active, the student is passive, then it is lecture method. Most common, this is used in the lecture method, but it doesn't mean that her time students are passive. Hi but the work of people is the work of people, that is of teachers. So there are many types of lecture, but uh, some are like <coughs> illustrated talks in which a teacher uses a kinds of illustrations to describe a topic, briefing, and uh, the next one is self-explanatory, that uh, this is a formal kind of lecture in which a teacher speaks and the student learn or listen. Teaching lecture or lecture method uh, in which a teacher uses lecture method to impart knowledge. So now coming towards our main topic, as I have said earlier that I want to wanted to make a detailed video. So started with the definition of the lecture method. It is the oldest teaching method applied in educational institution. This teaching method is one way channel of communication of information. I have told is that teacher actively bol raha hota hai. He is imparting or giving knowledge to his students. Or students ke haad mein pen hota hai, they are making notes. Or they are listening passively. They are not participating actively in the classroom. Students' involvement in this teaching method is just to listen and sometimes pen down some notes if necessary during the lecture. Combine the information and then organize it. Teacher lecture de raha hai, students ka kya kaam hai ke wo notes banai. Un sab ko end pe combine kare aur unko ek sequence mein le That's all for the students. And in this method, also the teacher talks. The students are passive listeners and they do not take part actively. Next, we have structure of lecture method. Ab kis tarah se lecture method ko structure kiya jata hai? Lecture lays emphasis on the presentation of the content. Teacher jab ek lecture uh, bana raha hota hai, uska sab se pehla jo ek main hota hai, that is on the outline of the lecture. Ke pehle mera content kya hoga, what I am going to present. So teacher is more active than students and students are passive participants. Si yahan par repeat hongi, but the main thing is that that lecture method is a one-way channel of communication in which a teacher speaks and the students listen. So coming forward, teacher can use question answer technique to keep the students attentive in the classroom. Now it's up to the teacher. Ke teacher kya technique use karta? He may use the question answer technique, he may use the discussion technique, it's up to the teacher. Next is history and background. Historically, the lecture can be traced back to the 5th century BC when it was popular with the Greeks. Sabse pehle ye Greeks mein start hua tha 5th century mein. The term lecture comes from the Latin lectare to read aloud. Lecture ka matlab hota hai kisi, lectare ka matlab hota hai kisi cheez ko uncha bolna. 
इससे हम ये भी ले सकते हैं कि बताने का तरीका लाइक टेलिंग मेथड सो विच आइडेंटिफाइज इट एज एन एक्सपोजिटरी और टेलिंग मेथड A teacher can uh, use many ways to elaborate his topic. He may use verbal method, which means that he will use words and vocabularies to describe. सिर्फ लफ्जों से बोल कर किसी चीज को explain कर देना that is verbal explanation. Next is extra verbal. That means extra verbal means pitch or intonation or tone of the voice, a tone uh, of the teacher that in which way he is speaking. Like I can uh, read a line in many ways. like i can say a word extra verbal this is my normal tone if i say extra verbal this is my another tone and if i say extra verbal this is another tone so the extra verbal means the pitch intonation and tone of the voice of the teacher next is non verbal non verbal includes the gestures like the body movement or uh, elucidating with the hands describing something with the demonstration like this next is visual Visual way means to elucidate something by having some visual aids like pictures, videos, or something like this. He can make slides. He can use some pictures. He can use some clip arts. All these comes under the category of visuals. Next heading is lectures are given for several reasons. <clears throat> Now there are the reasons that why lectures are given. Number one, to tell the students what they need to know. उनको क्या ज़रूरत है ये पढ़ने की? Teacher has to explain it. promote understanding and learning in depth provide an introduction to the topic and stimulate student interest in a topic it's quite obvious ki agar ek student ka interest hi nahi hai topic mein then why he is going to learn that topic in a good way he will not be able to learn anything in depth about this so it's necessary to give lectures to tell the students that what they need to know next we have objectives There are many objectives of the lecture method, but I have uh, shared three of them here to clarify. The method is to clarify. This is a group method. Like when large number of students need clarification, teacher can use this method. For example, if most of the question, uh, most of the students have the same questions at a single time, then the teacher will uh, gain the method of clarification. He will clarify the questions to all of the class to extend the content. it means that sometimes the discussion in the book is not sufficient so the teacher can use this method to clarify the concept of the students like ek hypothesis de diya book mein now uski explanation uski sari cheeze ke how is how is that to wo teacher ko content extend karna padta hai for example if there is a numerical sara data de diya hai but teacher is necessary for it to solve ab teacher jab tak usko explain nahi karenge ki isme further kya cheeze hain content mein tab tak student is unable to solve it So next is review. It is also useful for the recapitalization of the work to the students. It's very important for the students as well as for the teachers to recapitulate what they have studied. Next is the strategy of planning a lecture. So an effective lecture is composed of three components. अब इसके तीन तरीके हैं कि किस तरीके से एक लेक्चर को तैयार किया जाता है प्लान किया जाता है The number one is planning. This step contains the instructional objectives to be achieved. किसी भी काम को करने का first step is planning. सबसे पहली चीज़ तो नियत होनी चाहिए that we have to do this. Then plan that how we are going to do this. This step contains the instructional objectives to be achieved, amount of content to be covered, and feedback mechanism to be used. Like इसमें हम तीन चीज़ें cover कर रहे हैं सबसे पहली बात कि क्या क्या outline होगी हमारी कि हमने ये ये topics cover करने हैं सेकेंडली द अमाउंट ऑफ कॉन्टेंट टू बी कवर्ड हमने किस पार्ट को किस तरह से कवर करना है फीडबैक मैकेनिज्म लाइक आफ्टर डिलीवरिंग द लेक्चर्स टीचर मस्ट हैव द फीडबैक मैकेनिज्म लाइक क्विजेज एंड क्वेश्चन आंसरिंग सेशन और डिस्कशन सेशन एंड काइंड ऑफ ऑडियो विजुअल एड्स टू बी यूज आई हैव डिस्क्राइब इट इन द विजुअल वे ऑफ एक्सप्लेनेशन द टीचर कैन यूज विजुअल्स टू एक्सप्लेन अ टॉपिक और टू प्लान अ लेक्चर सो प्लानिंग अ लेक्चर बूज द कॉन्फिडेंस ऑफ अ टीचर इन हैंडलिंग द क्लास अगर एक टीचर ने लेक्चर प्लान किया हुआ है तो टीचर नोज द सीक्वेंस टीचर को पता है कि उसने कैसे एक्सप्लेन करना है कैसे स्टार्ट करना है नेक्स्ट इज इंट्रोडक्शन द मेन टास्क ऑफ द टीचर हेयर इज टू इस्टेब्लिश लिंक विद द स्टूडेंट्स एट दिस स्टेज द टीचर रिलेट्स न्यू टॉपिक्स टू द वन ऑलरेडी टॉट एंड टू प्रीवियस एक्सपीरियंस यानी कि जो नई चीज़ पढ़ानी है पहले प्रायर नॉलेज के साथ उसका कोई कनेक्शन बनाना चेन में उसको कनेक्ट करना कि हम आगे पढ़ क्या रहे हैं इट्स द टास्क ऑफ द टीचर कि वो स्टूडेंट्स के साथ एक लिंक क्रिएट करें नेक्स्ट वी हैव डेवलपमेंट फेज 
अब डेवलपमेंट फेज क्या है कि बेसिकली इट इज प्रेजेंटेशन स्टेज कि टीचर इज गिविंग लेक्चर एंड द स्टूडेंट इज टेकिंग इट सो ट्रांजेक्शन ऑफ आइडियाज एंड इंफॉर्मेशन बिटवीन द टीचर एंड द लर्नर टेक्स प्लेस एट द स्टेज दिस इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज प्रेजेंटेशन स्टेज मेरे ख्याल में इसको आप लेक्चर डिलीवरिंग स्टेज भी कह सकते हैं लाइक दिस इज अ प्रेजेंटेशन स्टेज नेक्स्ट इज कंक्लूजन दिस इज द कंक्लूडिंग फेज Here the teacher recapitulates whatever he has explained. The teacher also asks few questions on the content matter in order to evaluate the student's understanding of the lecture. Conclusion में teacher कुछ भी कर सकता है Teacher सारी पिछली बातों को revise कर सकता है पिछली बातों को recapitulate कर सकता है और students के साथ question answer session कर सकता है कि पूरे lecture में उन्होंने क्या सीखा Next we have the steps that how a lecture can be prepared. Here are the steps to uh, plan a good lecture uh, showing on your screens a teacher must take these steps to plan a good lecture an effective lecture so step 1 is prime time in the introduction that koi bhi teacher class mein aane mein settle hone mein class environment complete hone mein it takes 5 minutes then presentations must be of 21 minutes actually i am giving this uh, schedule for 40 to 45 minutes lecture next the teacher has to summarize all the lecture in 5 to 6 minutes and then revise or consolidate it into 22 minutes feedback uh, gets uh, almost 6 minutes for it ye teacher par depend karta hai either he is going with the discussion method or either he is going uh, going with the question answer technique so next we have the uh, good qualities or a good lecturer care of what so the main things are time audiences subject matter voice starting with the time time is a very basic and a very important thing in every person's life either he is a teacher or not time is important time is money agar ek teacher ko is cheez ka idea hai ki usne 40 minutes ke lecture mein apna sara content deliver karna hai apna sara outline jo banayi hui hai apni jo sara lecture plan kiya hua hai he has to complete it then he is a good lecturer and if he is not able to Uh, complete his or her lecture in a given time then he is not fulfilling his own uh, you can say job or his own task next we have audience it's very important to gain the attention of the audience if i am uh, talking and you all are not interested then you all will switch off my video then you all will continue watching something else and if i am get, getting attention of yours then you are here and you are watching or listening my video so it's very important that your audience must be active learner if your audience will be passive then you are not a good lecturer then you are not a good speaker next we have subject matter teacher ko subject matter par hi baat karni chahiye pehli baat to ye ki usko apne subject pe grip ho for example agar ek teacher english padha raha hai to usko english ke subject pe grip honi chahiye and he must talk about the english ab english ke lecture mein chemistry padhane ka koi jawaz nahi banta so subject matter is also a good thing next is voice the voice of the teacher have a very very large impact of students like if a teacher comes to the class aur wo bahut aaram se bol rahe hain then students wo to so rahe honge and if a teacher comes and he had a very good voice a very good tone ek badi ropdar awaaz hai either he is female uh, he is a male or female but his or her voice will be affecting the students so the teacher must keep a, a good tone or good intonation or good pitch of her, his or her sound next we have vocabulary now vocabulary is very important thing kuch teachers aise hote hain jo itni high vocabulary use karte hain ki students ke level pe wo nahi hoti aur students lecture mein se interest kho dete hain but at the same time there are many teachers who who use very good vocabulary isse kya hota hai ki jab students ke level par aake unko padhaya jaye to they get more knowledge in a very good way so teacher must use good vocabulary sometimes uh, he or she can use one or two words so that students ki knowledge mein izafa ho but it doesn't mean that an ample uh, uh, a, a teacher who is a phd scholar is uh, teaching the first semester english students and uh, he is imparting very high words that are not being understood by the students so vocabulary is good thing uh, is uh, it can make a lecture good or it can also make a lecture bad or uninteresting next is uh, use of visual aids and blackboards ab teacher ko 
लेक्चर मेथड इज नॉट लाइक के एक टीचर बोल रहा है और स्टूडेंट्स लिख रहे हैं एक गुड लेक्चर मेथड में टीचर बहुत सी विजुअल्स यूज कर सकता है ही मे यूज द स्लाइड्स वो ब्लैक बोर्ड पे लिख सकते हैं ही मे यूज द वाइट बोर्ड्स पिक्चर्स यूज कर सकते हैं विजुअल एड्स यूज कर सकते हैं एनी मूवी एनी एनिमेशन एनी ऑडियो ही और शी कैन यूज सो यूज ऑफ विजुअल एड्स वुड बी अ वेरी गुड एडिशन इन द लेक्चर मैथड इट मे इम्प्रूव द लेक्चर्स सो दीज वर्ड द क्वालिटीज ऑफ अ गुड लेक्चर नाउ वी आर कमिंग टूवर्ड्स द पर्पजिज ऑफ लेक्चरिंग डेट वट आर द पर्पज इज डेट हाउ टू डिलीवर लेक्चर नंबर वन थिंग स्टिमुलेट थिंकिंग अब बुक्स हर किसी के पास होती हैं बट नॉट एवरी वन इज कैपेबल ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग इट हर स्टूडेंट अगर खाली किताब ही सब कुछ हो तो फिर तो टीचर्स की अकेडमीज की और स्कूल्स कॉलेज की तो जरूरत ही ना पड़े सो इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट टू स्टिमुलेट थिंकिंग इट्स गुड टू हैव अ रीड टू द बुक्स टू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड थिंग्स बाय द ओन बट टू अ टीचर इज वेरी नेसेसरी अ टीचर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू स्टिमुलेट थिंकिंग इन द स्टूडेंट्स teacher will raise the questions teacher will uh, describe something in a very good way that students ke dimag mein khud ba khud hi questions arises honge khud ba khud hi jab unke zehen mein questions aayenge to it's mean that they are stimulating their thinking so the number one purpose is stimulate thinking number two is develop concentration giving a lecture means to develop concentration of students to the related topic or to the related subject problem solving there is a, a purpose to develop problem solving next we have achieve high order of cognitive objectives it is also um, you can say uh, in the bloom's taxonomy uh, cognitive approach that to achieve high order of cognitive objective cognitive deals with your mental capability to your uh, mindset that how a learner or how a student is uh, getting knowledge into his mind how he processes it, processed it so this is also a purpose नेक्स्ट इज इनकल्केट द हैबिट्स ऑफ लर्निंग एंड लिसनिंग अगर एक स्टूडेंट लेक्चर ले रहा है तो इट्स क्वाइट ऑब्वियस कि वो उसको याद करने की आदत होगी और उसको सुनने की आदत होगी सो इफ देर ही इज अ गुड लिसनर देन ही मस्ट बी अ गुड राइटर और अ गुड रीडर एज वेल को रिलेट सब्जेक्ट विद अदर सब्जेक्ट यहाँ पे एग्जाम्पल दी हुई है ड्राई हॉट एंड सनी समर वेदर एंड सेम थिंग लाइक इफ यू टेक इट एज अ नॉर्मल थिंग देन सूरज से आइसक्रीम मेल्ट हो रही है बट एट द सेम टाइम सन इज अफेक्टिंग पीपल एंड इट इज कॉजिंग सन बर्न सो आइसक्रीम एंड सन बर्न आर को रिलेटेड टू ईच अदर सिमिलरली वी कैन टेक एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ केमिस्ट्री एंड बायोलॉजी लाइक देर आर मेनी थिंग्स इन केमिस्ट्री डेर आर यूज इन बायोलॉजी एंड देर आर मेनी थिंग्स इन बायोलॉजी डेर आर बिंग यूज इन केमिस्ट्री सो को रिलेशन ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट्स विद अनदर ईच अदर इज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द पर्पजेज now we are coming towards the advantages of lecture method there are many merits of it like uh, in this method a large amount of content can be covered in a single class period teacher ko individually nahi jana padega sabke paas samjhane ke liye bahut jaldi class, uh, content cover ho jayega using of this method exclude the using of any equipment or lab yahan pe demonstration ki zarurat nahi padti zyada tar student listening skills developed it's it's understood help to learn languages it is quite economical method and it is possible to handle large number of students at a time sorry it is quite economical method because it is possible to handle a large number of students at a time no laboratory no equipments aids materials are required for this lectures are a straight forward way to impart knowledge to students quickly and lecture method is the most familiar method to the teachers because it was typically the way they were taught and logistically a lecture is often easy to create than other methods of instruction bahut easy hai lecture prepare karna is not that easy ke bahut aasan hai padhana aur lecture prepare karna but the lecture method is quite easy uh, other than other uh, methods some good lectures delivered by the teacher may motivate and instigate and inspire a student for creative thinking and the lecture is particularly suitable for introducing a new subject and for explaining the necessary background information jaise ki maine explain kiya tha ki kisi naye topic ko padhane ke liye teacher purani cheezon ko jab recapitulate karta hai revise karta hai to wo bhi student learning mein ek bahut acha step hai next we have the demerits of lecture method every picture has uh, two aspects one is positive one is negative similarly uh, lecture method ke bhi advantages sath hi sath demerits bhi hain 
So in this method of teaching, students become passive. And in this method, there is no place for learning by doing. जैसा कि इसमें demonstration है ही नहीं कोई equipments, labs वगैरह का कोई use नहीं है, तो learning by doing और project method का तो सवाल ही पैदा नहीं होता lecture method में. Attention level is not the same while student listening the lecture. हो सकता है कोई student कुछ कर रहा हो, but the teacher is imparting the knowledge. It does not cater to the individual needs and differences of the students. Teacher यहाँ पर students की needs को नहीं देखता. He just know that he have to complete the content. He have to complete the lecture. जो उन्हें plan किया, teacher have to impart it. In this method, the students' participation is negligible and students become passive recipients of education of information. Sorry. In this method, we are never sure if the students are concentrating and understanding the subject matter being taught to them by teacher. In this method, knowledge is imparted so rapidly that weak students develop a hatred for learning. अगर एक टीचर रोज लेक्चर दे रहा है 40 टू 45 मिनट्स का कंटिन्यूस लेक्चर अब मिल रहा है और एक ऐसा स्टूडेंट या कुछ ऐसे स्टूडेंट्स हैं जो नहीं इस चीज़ के काबिल कि वो सारे लेक्चर एक साथ याद कर सकें या उसी टाइम में सब कुछ कर सकें जैसा कि अच्छे इंटेलेक्ट वाले स्टूडेंट्स जो हैं वो कर लेते हैं तो उनके दिल में क्या होता है कि दे डेवलप्ड हेटरेड फॉर लर्निंग उनका फिर याद करने को दिल नहीं करता लेक्चर लेने को दिल नहीं करता दे स्टार्टेड बंकिंग द क्लासेस एंड ऑल लाइक दिस सो दिस इज़ अ बैड इम्पैक्ट आल्सो ऑन द वीक स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस मेथड देर इज़ नो प्लेस ऑफ लर्निंग बाई डूइंग एज आई हैव डिस्क्राइब इट अर्लियर एंड दिस टीचिंग बाई दिस मैथड स्ट्राइक्स एट अ वेरी रूट ऑफ साइंस अब ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट है कि हाउ इट स्ट्राइक्स एट द वेरी रूट ऑफ साइंस अब जाहिर ही बात है जब एक चीज़ में काम हो ही नहीं रहा उसमें डिमॉन्स्ट्रेशन ही नहीं हो रही तो साइंस तो है ही प्रैक्टिकल केमिस्ट्री बायोलॉजी एंड ऑल दीज थिंग्स स्पेशल फिजिक्स दीज आर प्रैक्टिकल थिंग्स तो अगर साइंस में प्रैक्टिकल ही नहीं हो रहे सिर्फ लेक्चर से इम्पार्ट हो रहे हैं तो ये तो बहुत ज़्यादा इफेक्ट करेगा साइंस को सो so, अगर लर्निंग बाय डूइंग नहीं है देन इट्स ऑब्वियस डैट द टीचिंग बाय दिस मैथड स्ट्राइक्स एट द वेरी रूट ऑफ साइंस Next we have it doesn't take into the account of the previous knowledge of students and it does not take cater to individual needs and differences of the students. वही बात के students के differences को देखे बगैर ही एक ही तरह का lecture सबको deliver किया जाता है. And next we have conclusion that this method is suitable for teaching in higher classes like FSC, uh, intermediate uh, like this, where we aim to cover the prescribed syllabus quickly. And also this method will help them to prepare themselves for college where lecture method of teaching is dominant method of imparting instructions. This method of teaching can be made more beneficial if the teacher encourages his students to take notes during the lesson. And after the lesson, teacher can give his students some time for asking questions and answer their queries without any hesitation. So if uh, there is also a good point that if a teacher can introduce some humor in this lesson it would keep students interested in his lesson so that was all about the lecture method maine try ki hai ki main isko bahut detail mein aur har cheez lecture method ke bare mein describe kar dun so if you like the video then please like it and thank you so much and if you have any kind of question then you can ask it in the comment box so stay blessed and take care allah hafiz